Hi, my name is William Butler. I'm a chartered accountant by profession and a businessman in that I run and own and run three businesses. One in software, one in fertilizer and one in financial consulting. I met Kubus Fisser, aka Superman, uh, about two years ago when I was invited by a friend to attend a firewall. And so out of curiosity I, I went because I thought, hey, I'm interested. I'm not going to walk, but uh, it's interesting and I want to see how this works. And of course, uh, there was Kubus telling his story and encouraging people to consider walking on fire. You don't have to, but you know what? We're all going to go outside, so take your shoes off anyway, just in case. But you don't have to walk. Needless to say, everybody did walk, including me. And it was the most exhilarating experience I've had um, new experience I've had in a long time as Kubis describes it it's like your first kiss you'll never forget it pretty much that's what's happened and so I got to know Kubis uh, by attending a couple of subsequent firewalks and one day um, I remember him talking about something that he was planning to do which was to climb Kilimanjaro I think this was on the second or the third uh, fire walk that I attended with him. And I went away thinking, you know what, I've always wanted to climb this mountain. And so, the next fire walk that I went to, I walked up to him and I said, Hi Kubis, I'm William Butler and I want to climb Kilimanjaro with you. And that's how we started our journey together. Because it wasn't just about the mountain. Um, I'm a business owner. I have three businesses in fact one in software one in fertilizer and the other one in um, financial consulting and I employ a team of people uh, in different offices and one of the things I recognized was uh, that I needed to bring about a shift in the culture of my businesses and so I began first to um, to work with Corbis as uh, my business co uh, my business coach on a personal level and I got to know him and how he worked and then I invited him into coaching my teams as well and I can say both at a personal level and both certainly at the level of my teams um, there was a dramatic improvement in performance in focus and most importantly for me uh, team cohesion um, after Kubis had gotten involved and started working with my guys both individually and uh, as a group. So at some point Kubis invited me to attend what he calls the FIT Firewalk Instructor Training which um, is basically an extended retreat where you learn to become a firewalk instructor and of course at that point I was sold on the idea of firewalking um, because it speaks to you, resonates with something in me about being able to transcend your physical environment just with with your mind uh, and causing your body to transcend that environment through your mind and um, so I went on this retreat uh, with him and I can I can only tell you it was probably the one of the most um, influential moments in my life probably more influential than their marriage <laughs> because uh, it was an inflection point where um, my my business life certainly and also my personal life and relationships just took a step change a step up because of the personal transformation I went through over those few days uh, not just because I walked on fire uh, because I mean we walked on it in one night we walked on it 108 times but also because um, uh, the relationship relationships I developed with people that I met um, because of the relationship I developed with myself uh, I, 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 I can say that I developed a much deeper connection and, and understanding of myself um, through that experience than I've ever had before and I wish tools like these were taught in school uh, so that our children could have them and on that note um, I actually took my daughter with me um, my middle daughter she's now at the time she was 21 
um, you know, she, she's grown up in a divorced family, so I wasn't around when she was little like a full-time dad, I was a weekend dad. And we've always had an estranged relationship and one that was, was plagued by trust issues. And I invited her to attend this process with me and she went through the same transformation. But more amazingly is she and I as father and daughter went through this amazing transformation in our relationships and breaking down barriers and connecting in a way that we never could have or would have if we had continued uh, uh, as, as, as estranged uh, parent and, and child. And if it's, if it's just one thing I'm grateful for, it's that, that experience. So, what would I say about Corvus? I've had these personal experiences of transformation through a skill set that he teaches, uh, specifically through fire walking, um, but also through one-on-one -on -one sessions coaching where he's helped me with relationships, relationships in business, relationships in my personal life, just bringing a different perspective to um, what, uh, what people mean to me in my life. Uh, and how I can and, and should be approaching them. He's also uh, helped me to focus on what was important at that time um, to move my businesses forward. And as I mentioned earlier, he's done a really good job of, of bringing my team together, get, getting them to work with discipline, uh, getting them to have their own esprit de corps, their own team spirit. Um, and that they are not just uh, work colleagues but that they become a proper uh, team and they are teammates, team buddies and all of that is valuable not just in, 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 in a personal sense as in my life has changed or my life has improved but it's valuable in terms of rancid sense, in terms of money because the enhanced performance of my team has led to enhanced uh, service levels to my, to my customers um, my own personal transformation at that firewalk uh, retreat, firewalk instructor training retreat I mentioned has led to an explosion in my business because of the energy shift in myself. Because your business is a reflect reflection of who? It's a you. It's a reflection of who you are. Um, and as my view and understanding of myself and my connection to myself changed, so did my connection to my customers and my ability to present and sell uh, my products and services so as a person he's a great guy he's a great friend um, as a man I have the utmost admiration for him because if you remember I spoke about right in the beginning when I met him I decided I wanted to climb Kilimanjaro with Kubus Fissa and I did um, Earlier in this year, in July this year, in fact, Kubus led a team of eight of us up uh, Kilimanjaro in Tanzania. Uh, we called ourselves Kili on purpose, and each of us climbed with a purpose. Each of us climbed supporting a charity. Kubus uh, climbed for hemophilia, I climbed for children with cancer. Uh, due to one of my children experiencing cancer at an early stage in their lives. In that experience, those those 10 days that I was away with Corbus and the team um, was a second transformation in my life that I've had in one year. Again, a step change. Um, this one on a deeply personal level. This one has been less commercial and been more about who I am and who I want to be and who I am becoming. Corbus is uh, afflicted by a disease called hemophilia which under most circumstances would keep people in bed or keep them in a wheelchair or keep them in crutches this man set the intention to climb Kilimanjaro two years before he met me when he was in a wheelchair and through his determination and his effort and just sure, I don't know what it is, willpower, guts, um, stupidity maybe, I think there's a hint of that, craziness, um, he did. Because that man couldn't train like I did. 
couldn't go to gym, uh, he couldn't uh, 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 do the kind of physical exercises that I was doing to prepare my body uh, in advance of that climb. And yet, he climbed. And yet he got to the top of that mountain. Now, I climbed with Quibbers. When I say with him, I mean with him. I was with him next to him. Um, every day. And, and my purpose, my personal mission was to get him up and down without, uh, without dying. Um, and I saw what it took out of this man. I saw the pain that he went through. I saw the personal transformation he was going through because there were days that he was crying and I thought, man, this guy's in pain. And when I spoke to him, he said, no, it's not, it's not the physical pain. It's what I'm learning inside. And that, you know, I was going through my own transformation. I was going through my own learnings and that it was a beautiful moment. On summit night, we left uh, late the night before. Shall I say summit morning, we left late the night before. And we started our climb in the dark. It was Kubis and myself and, and uh, uh, one of our fellow climbers and our two... Um, two porters that climbed with us and it was slow and it was painful because that last climb is steep it's hard and um, there's a reason that you climb it in the dark because if you could see what you were climbing you would just give up and there came to a point there came a point where, where Corbus was his body was finished mine was close to finished and it was just me and him at that stage or the rest of our team had left me him and the porters and I was sticking with Kubis. And at that point, which was several hundred meters below a place called Stiller Point, um, I was worried that he was going to die because of the, the strain he was taking, the strain of his body, uh, the pain he was experiencing, um, trying to engage with him and, and, and just trying to get a conversation going. It, it, was, it was hard and I was concerned for his safety. But I didn't want to leave him. And we sat just before sunrise. In fact, it was at sunrise. We watched the sun come up. Uh, several hundred meters below a place called Sela Point. Uh, which itself is below below Uhuru Peak. Uh, just a short while. A couple hundred meters below Uhuru Peak. And um, he said to me, William, go. I need to rest. And it was a struggle for me to to leave him. But I did, so that I could summit, and he gave me permission to leave him. And those next uh, several hundred meters was probably the most toughest part of the climb I'd experienced in in that entire in that entire journey. Just me and the the porter that was with me, and and uh, it was tough because of the steepness. It was tough because of the the terrain. We were surrounded by jagged and loose rocks and ice. And it was freezing cold and at that altitude there's just no air to breathe um, and then I got to Stella Point and from there I made my way up to Uhuru Peak which is a much more gentler gentler uh, climb for me the part that makes or break that mountain is getting to Stella Point and so I peaked and I turned around and I came back with, with my friends that I'd met up with the other climbers and when I got back to Stella Point there was Corbus Fisser lying on the ground half dead <laughs> with his crutches next to him that man had hauled that huge frame all that way from where I had left him where I was convinced that he was going to turn back with the three porters who would help him get down they'd hauled his ass all the way from that point to Stella Point through the most difficult terrain of our entire journey with his body already finished with his body already done he hauled his ass from there to there by sheer will sheer grit and determination the strength of his mind that got him from where he was to where to where i found him and for that i take my hat off to him because although i got to uhuru peak which is a few hundred meters further on um i was fit i was trained 
I was ready for it. And he doesn't have the body to to do the kind of things that I can do with my body because of the hemophilia. Um, and yet this man did what I think is a miracle. Through the sheer power of his mind, he got from where where I left him up to Uhuru Peak. That's the Kubus for so I know. Um, multi-skilled, multi-talented, um, a man of courage, as he demonstrated to me, a man of humility, as I saw in his tears, his open tears, um, in front of the whole team, um, a man of wisdom, as I've experienced on a daily basis through our many phone calls and our weekly or, 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 or bi-monthly get-togethers for coaching. So, that's what I have to say about Kubis. Um, I would recommend him to anybody that I respected. I would introduce him to anybody that I felt could benefit from stepping up their lives. Anybody who is looking to grow their business or just grow their lives, I would recommend this man. I would recommend Kubis Vassar.